Hey guys, welcome to Nichols Retirement Empire. I'm doing a video just about the grill and how I made the grill today, the uh, concrete grill if you're interested in making one. And this will kind of give you an idea what you need to look for and how I put it together. So I know some of you watched that first video where I kind of showed me, but it didn't show any details. So I'm going to show you some detail about the grill today so you can do it. Okay, here's what we have right now. Now I'm getting ready to make some adjustments after we've used it one time, okay? And I want to show you what I'm going to do to change. Uh, and then I'll kind of go through the, uh, basically like what some of this stuff costs. All right, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm taking this off and this off because I want to be able to get to the area underneath the uh, thing that holds my my charcoals okay these two are coming off now what I'm gonna do is I've got a little brush and stuff I'm gonna clean that out and then I'll get back to you and kind of show you what I'm doing from here okay I've got my ashes for the most part uh, dusted out of there and last night we started thinking about it and we decided what we need is something to catch the ashes so Tammy has this old I think it is a quarter sheet cake uh, pan maybe a half sheet cake pan you can get them pretty cheap so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start leaving it down there to catch my ashes and my grease that way when I get through grilling I can just take it out okay no problem I'm going to take these and set them right here so that kind of finishes that off right there same thing with this right here and that kind of finishes that off okay so this is a little more functional okay now now that's going to be an issue i'm just going to have to be careful when i take that out okay so now i have plenty of space i can have my charcoals from back here all the way out to here still be able to cook have a hot area and a cool area on the grill be able to get my ashes out easy okay this is how we decided we were going to do the final thing the only thing i do not have are these holes right here plugged which really um doesn't matter that much i probably will end up like finding something uh around the yard or whatever to stick there right now we'll probably just use it to hang stuff or you know stick like a uh, tongs in or something like that so this should be my working this, this this should work the way i got it set up so let's look at the items that i have in it i bought 28 um full concrete blocks regular size concrete blocks i think they were about a dollar fifty dollar fifty five a piece so I just made a base four blocks high two across and then one across the bottom like that and then I just staggered them so I made a that four blocks high okay then from there I put on this little sheet metal sheet which I think was about ten or maybe twelve dollars something like that it wasn't really high it's pretty thin. I may have to go back later and replace that with something thicker. But it is 24 by 24. They already had it pre-cut and everything at Lowe's. So I got uh, this to put so I could have something to catch the ashes. So I wouldn't have everything on block that's burning. Okay, so we got one of those. Okay, I finished up the top with two more of these blocks so like i said that was a total of 28 of those blocks once you counted them all up uh i started off buying these half blocks with the holes in them 
and what we decided to do was to fix it where I could fix these uh, grill grids um, in here with these now if I put something thick enough in here to separate these I might be able to pull this one in it in and out but I don't really need to uh, so what we did is we put two of these and then one two one two so we got two of those and then we have another one of those up here on top so that's a total of six of those I put the grid between this one I put a separator we put some little separators we just found some little good separators to put in there uh, I don't remember how much these were I think they were a little bit more than the regular full block, but not much. Maybe a couple bucks, something like that. So I got six of those. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. So that's the whole, uh, the walls in here. We bought, just to make it look nice, four of these from the uh, lawn and garden department. And they were like a couple of bucks, two and a half bucks, maybe a piece. And, and then we got one, two, three, four of the little thin blocks like that as toppers. And you could put them down here if you wanted to, but if you didn't have that tray. So we bought four of those, and they were probably less than, the, uh, than these blocks right here, or about the same price. So that's the general price of the blocks and how many blocks I actually used. The, um, these were about 30 bucks, 31, 32 dollars, and they are 21 and a half inch or 22 inch, um, just, you know, grills that go in, a, I think they go in a Weber grill, but it really don't matter what kind you get. So I got one of those for the charcoal and one of those for the cooktop, and so that was 60 dollars for those. So that's the whole price, including the sheet pan, which I don't know what it cost, but Tammy said they're pretty cheap. So it came out, you could probably do it for somewhere between 140 to 160, depending on what kind of deal you got or what, you know, stuff like that. And uh, the good thing is all I'm going to have to replace is this and this, you know, eventually, and I'll, you know, but it should be a long time before I have to replace them. And then this right here, I believe at some point. I'll have to replace so that's the whole thing you need to have it on level ground I had a slab right here that's why I put it on the slab so it would be level um, if you don't have a concrete slab you need to find some kind of level ground to be able to put it on to be able to assemble it so that's how I did it so if you have any uh, questions about it you can you know ask me whatever uh, it's not anything complicated. I didn't use mortar. I didn't use anything like that. Uh, it looks pretty decent out here. It's not just horrible looking. So uh, if you're interested in making one, that's how I did it. So you know exactly how it was made. All right. Thanks for watching Nichols Retirement Empire. I'm just sitting out here sweating at 10 o'clock in the morning. It's hot in South Georgia. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You guys have a good day.